Welcome to the Hyundai Studios here on STOHD.com for STO Sidekicks. I'm Will Ewick, joined alongside former third grade spelling champion, Ashley Collins. I like it, I like it. And yes, I was, so that was a true one this time. Oh, I looked up, I did my research. <laughs> you do very good research. Here on STO Sidekicks, you guys, you go to our Facebook page and vote. We want to know what you have to think about the Browns. Sad face. Insert here, okay? Our first question we gave to you guys, should the Browns have gone for the two-point conversion? What do you think? I don't think they should have. I think they did the right thing by kicking the extra point. It was way too early in the fourth quarter. A lot of game left to be played. By making the extra point, they went up by six, and that protects them for two field goals. As you remember, the Eagles drove down, had a field goal attempt, but Alex Henry missed it. Had he made that, it was a three-point game. They come back, and another field goal only ties it. If they miss the two-point conversion, they're only up by two. Then after Alex Henry makes that field goal, they come back a down, a field goal wins it for them. So they did the right thing way too early. Later on in the game, you can look for two. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. I mean, we're just saying Hindsight's all these instances right here. Definitely, why not go for it? It was a meaningless extra point, I think. You know, Dequell Jackson takes that touchdown back and scores are up, you know, 15 to 10. Why would you not get it to the 17? You know that Michael Vick and the Eagles are going to drive down the field, whether it be right then or they later. They hadn't done it all day. And I know, but look what happened at the end, and we lose by one point. So in hindsight, if we just would have went for it, we would be a winner right now. And not asking you the question, should they have went for the two-point conversion, 83% said yes. They should have gone for the two-point conversion, 17 with Will over here. Next question is also on the Browns. Brandon Whedon made his NFL debut in the regular season. Was he what you expected or not what you expected? Ashley? 5.1 QB rating was not what I expected. And people are, you know, hey, the ERAs that he had were, you know, better than his QB rating. It was awful. It was painful to watch. I know that it's one game, and we go one game at a time, and he's a rookie. Look at all the other rookies, though. The, all the other rookies didn't even come close to being as bad as Whedon, so definitely not what I expected and needs tons, tons, tons of improvement. I think he needs some improvement, but it is about in the same ballpark what I expected, and I, I tend to disagree with you. I think you look at the other rookies making their start, RG3 being the outlier, had a phenomenal performance. Right. You look at Tannehill had three picks, Luck had three picks, How many yards did they Russell have, Wilson had How a many pick. Yards did I they mean, have? a lot of the rookies struggling on Sunday, so Brandon <laughs> Whedon fell in that. He knows I'm right. And That's also fine. a lot of his pass to receivers, you look at some of these picks, they were knocked up in the air and the defender was able to grab it, and some of the receivers could have done a better job, in my opinion, of attacking the defender and knocking the ball Could've down shoulda, when he threw it up. 54% need a lot of improvement. We both agree on that. 37%. Right. Where is Colt? Uh, Let's not even start that. 7% no what I expected and 2% better than what they expected. So they <laughs> must have had very low expectations no, for No, you know what? I think they accidentally voted for the wrong one. You know, you can Possibly. click the box. I think they accidentally voted for better than what I expected. So 2% have a weird mouse configuration on their computer. Get it quite right there. But <laughs> now on to the final word, guys. Uh, we got tweets at Sports Time Ohio and at ABASTO and at Morning Bark as a new morning show that they possibly, I think, wanted to take over for, let's say, Chuck and Bruce. Let's see what you guys have to think. Now we're going to jump into it. National Championship College. Roll Tide wins it over the LSU, and uh, it was a shutout. It was all dominated by Roll Tide. What's your comments on that? You know, these teams already played each other earlier in the season, so what do you think, That's about, interesting. What do you think about playoff in college football? I think there has to be a playoff. Fans don't want to see the same old stupid crap. Actually, the best thing about this was the name Morning Bark, and I don't even think the name Morning Bark is that good. This was just terrible. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't think these people could hold Bruce Drennan's water cup. I think they really just wanted to get it on camera and Tebow it and show everybody. Maybe they can teach people how to Dougie as well. Oh, I like it. That's for next week. Okay. I'll teach you how to Dougie. I like it. Okay, here we go. Guys, make sure you go to our Facebook page, log on and vote, because we want to know what you have to think here on STO Sidekicks. That's all the time we have for today. She's Ashley Collins. I'm Will Ewick. Until we meet again.